We've nearly finished this level. Nearly. We've not actually got much left to do, it's just getting there. We've got the treasure hunting, the lighthouse which I'm doing now, the... the jumping, and I think the chicken leg bounce thing. There's the Jinjo. Oh yeah, and the Jinjo is of course. Is this our last one? Or have we still got the purple one to get? Yeah, we've still got the purple one. Uh, and I believe he's in a chest. Yeah, there we go. We didn't need to go up there until we activated that switch. Yo! Alright, there we go. Eat gum, talk gum. Another jiggy done. Ah, oh, yes. You can see in the background the shark cove. Oh, yes, yeah, open because I have the stop and swap activated. Man, stop and swap. I'm, I'm surprised that I actually mentioned this earlier. Yeah, for those of you, I'm sure every Banjo Kazooie fan knows by now, but I'll just say it anyway. Stop and swap was a feature originally designed for the N64 between Banjo Kazooie One and Banjo Tooie, where you would get these keys and something. Oh, I can't remember how it worked. You got you did something in Banjo Tooie, and then you would swap it. You'd just take the cartridge out and then pop Banjo Kazooie in, and then what would happen is it would open up the new areas. The Nintendo 64 would recognise that you had Banjo Tooie, and then it would unlock uh, like the Shark Cove. It would open the Shark Cove, which as you I'll, sh I'll show you in a second. Um, what's in here? No. Down here. There. That cave there, that never used to be there. And what would happen is if uh, you swap the cartridge out, or if you had Banjo Tooie, and then you swap the cartridge out to Banjo Kazooie, then it would recognize it had Banjo Tooie, and then it would open up paths that you couldn't get to elsewhere. So it would contain. Uh, yes, yeah, so it was like blocked off paths in Banjo Kazooie 1, which would be opened if you did that swap thing, hence the name Stop and Swap. And then you'd go and get through this open path, and then go back into Banjo Tooie, give like these secrets that you've found in, from Banjo Kazooie, and then you'd give them to this hen, this or this chicken thing, and. Um, then you just get secrets. I we, no one knows what it was supposed to originally be. There's theories, or there once, or there was like a, a rare developer that said that it was supposed to be like behind the scenes stuff, like video docs and things like that. Um, and, but it never came to fruition because the Nintendo, no, I think Nintendo, or it might have been rare. I think Nintendo put a stop to it because like no, this could ruin consoles. Because what Rare found out was that if you um, pulled out a Nintendo 64 cartridge while the game, the, the system was still turned on, the Nintendo 64 would retain memory of that game for I think it was like seven seconds. So you could pop the the, the cartridge out and then pop it back in. I'm not too sure about that. But yeah, it was something like. It, it would retain the memory for like seven seconds. So they used that with a stop and swap system. So, hence why you would pull the Banjo Kazooie cartridge out, and then you'd have to pop the Banjo Tooie cartridge out really quickly. So, before like the seven seconds were up, otherwise it wouldn't count, and then you'd just have to do it over again. And then, like, Nintendo said, no, we can't do that, it might damage consoles. Something like that. And that's why they didn't do it in the end. 
and then they brought it out for the uh, remakes. Uh, the, yeah, the Banjo Kazooie HD and Banjo Tooie HD, and it was a load of crap because all you got was some damn themes or gamer picks and like a secret move or two in Banjo Tooie. That was all you got, and people were disappointed, and then they. Even though Stop and Swap had kind of been answered, people still wanted answers as to what it was initially supposed to be. And that's where either a rare developer came out and said that it was supposed to be like behind the scenes stuff, or that's just a theory. I'm not sure. To be honest though, what could it have been? Behind the scenes videos makes the most sense. And then there's Stop and Swap 2 in Banjo 2 we remake, which ties in with Banjo Nuts and Bolts. And then there's the Stop and Swap again in Banjo Nuts and Bolts, I believe, that's supposed to tie into the next Banjo Kazooie game. And they send at the, say at the end of Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts that they'll uh, bring back the moves for their next game if they get a next game. And that's exactly what they said. They said, well, here's the moves back. If in, in case you need to use them for your next adventure, and then they add that you may never get another adventure. So I bet you rare want to make one, but then Microsoft are just bashing them with a stick, saying "Make fucking connect." Right. We got how many? Two more. The massive bee tapping on my window. Two more jiggies, nine more notes. I don't remember where they are. Oh yeah, the sand castle, of course. I completely missed this. This is the cheat code station. Where you go to enter cheat codes. Why oh, not there? Alright, no notes here. Um, yeah, it's around there. I don't know why I'm not using Talon Shrop. But there's a lot of mysteries surrounding this game that never got answered, or like early development mysteries and stuff like that, which are pretty cool. I just wish they would give a definitive answer instead of just teasing everyone. Eeky patch up now. The release water without even doing anything. God damn it. I should have just... no, no. Alright, I know there's a jiggy in there and there's a few notes. I think there's four notes inside and then there's five notes on the top so that would make a uh, hundred note. Then we just need one more jiggy. Which... Is I don't know where. Okay, no, there's no notes in there. Oh wait, yes, there is. Yeah, there we go. Four notes. Yep, done. <laughs> right, and then it is. Can you tell what he is yet? Kazooie? If you can't spell, now's the uh, time to learn. Where's the other O? Yeah, and here's where you enter, just like how I just typed out Banjo Kazooie, this is where you enter the, the cheats, like wishy. I don't know, you have to 
exit and enter. My favourite cheat was Wishy Washy Banjo, where you literally turn into a washing machine, and then you can just play as a washing machine throughout the whole game. Um, so now we need to find the luck. And we've got all the honeycombs. Pieces. Yeah, two out of two. One more jiggy. Where is it? Where? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I know where. It's where I fell off earlier, trying to get the honeycomb things. Well, let's see. I had 33 notes in one hour and ten minutes. On my, you, didn't, you guys didn't see it, but I had to delete a save before I started this game. And on that save, I had 33 notes in an hour and 10 minutes. And we're now about an hour of the way through this game. And I've only just got 21 notes. Uh, 22 jigsaw pieces. No, 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 no. So, yeah. And if we can beat the next level within 10 minutes, we're already behind. <laughs> but, like I said, this ain't gonna happen anymore. I don't even know why I keep referring to it. No! Whoa, that was close. Now, on to the next level. Well, we've got to get that jiggy first. It's outside here. And then on to the next level. Just check if there's a mumbo token. Whoa, what the hell happened there? Yeah, no, there wasn't. I've got seven lives so far, I haven't died once. Even though it's only the second mission. Ah. 22 notes. One hour. 10 minutes to defeat Clanker's Cavern? Don't think so. 23 notes. Jiggies! Not notes. But yeah. I think that will do for this part. And we'll continue from Clanker's Cavern. Actually, you might as well just put the, the picture in. The jigsaw pieces in. You want to play some more? Yes, I wanted. Been wanting them to say that. There we go. And there we have it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next part.